It's not real. It's not real at all. All right, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Um, so uh, we got another episode of the podcast that absolutely nobody asked for. You know, the consistently inconsistent entertainment commentary podcast out there. You know who it is. Um, I'm here with my man DJ San and uh, Deacon the Narrator. And we also have a very special guest today, Julio. What's happening, brother? What's going on, what's man? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Oh, you know, you know, blacker and better than I, ever. So. I'm great. I'm great. Um, so let's see. Uh, the way we do stuff around here, we usually start with a Q and A, um, but we don't have a Q and A this week because everybody expected Jay the show to be. To, yeah, uh... Jay forgot to. Yeah, and we also expected it to be canceled this week. So you know, <coughs> honestly, it was the janitor's fault. It was DJ's fault. He it really didn't... was DJ's fault. Yeah, he I wasn't really... even here last week, and it is. Yeah, my man's didn't even didn't even promote anything, and we also don't have plank this week, so. Plank usually got a little, a little something to talk about. So um, we're just going to have this conversation then. So, um, DJ, since you want to talk about my starting five, brother, um, because apparently uh, we just putting, we just airing out, you know, people's business and stuff like that. That's where we're going to start. What you got going on this week? What you want to talk about? You can sound like you got some stuff to get off your chest this week. Off my chest? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say off my chest. Oh, yeah? Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't know what you're alluding to, sir. Like, I, 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 in all honesty, I don't know what you're talking so about. So apparently, you have a cross continental, uh, cross country, uh, you know. Oh, so, oh, little... oh, so that's what we doing? Yeah, yeah. I heard you got a cross country, mommy. What's going on with that? There is, there <laughs> is, there is a wonderful individual. Uh huh. That I've been talking to. She listened to the podcast, podcast, right? I actually just told her that I was on oh. one. Oh. I'll give her the name and then she gonna she she'll probably slide through. Oh, but for sure, for sure. There is sure. there is a there's an interesting individual that I've been talking to for like the past three weeks to mm-hmm. a month. Mm-hmm. Like, and I enjoy talking to her. So we we gonna see we seeing where it goes. Oh, you do. She likes talking to me. Talking? I like talking to her. Man, does she know you? You know what? Never mind. <laughs> do, does she know I what? <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. It's all good. Um, I see you just you having uh you know you just not having conversations with people. That's all. I just think it's very interesting. So, you know. What? Not, not trying to burn your spot or nothing, but, you know, you just... You not know. having conversations with people. Yeah, you just living different. That's all. what that mean? Does she know you living different? Yeah. Okay. Living different like how? <laughs> not having conversations Wait, with living people. different like how? <laughs> living different like how? Because we, we got to really break this down. Listen, we got to really break this down. Nah, man, that's your business to tell. I'm not going to put it out in the street like that. that, that I think that will be very, very messed up of me, you know. For a man with a starting five and everything, so you know. Yeah. What do I know? What do I know? So me, uh, me or you? Huh? Go ahead. Uh, I, I heard you was just trying to build the team up. That's all. That's all I heard. N- no, mm-hmm. no, no. It's one. It's only one star play. Oh. Okay. No team. That's, that's... He, she carries the team by herself, and she is the team. All right. Well, make sure you oh. hang on to that. So, anyway, brother Julio, welcome, welcome to the show, man. We usually start off with with some bullshit jokes. How you doing, my no. man? What you what? So. Julio, let's break it down. What do you what what do you like to do? What do you what do you do for a living? What do you do? Who are uh, you? Yeah, basically. who you is, my brother? Expl- let's let's talk to the people a little bit. Okay, um, uh, I'm a filmmaker based in Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. Uh, I come from Ohio, and I've been in Atlanta for the last four years, and I mainly shoot uh, commercials and music videos. Uh, I've been into film for quite a long time. Um, I went to school for photography, and then uh, after I got out of school, I decided to make that move and pursue the dream of being a writer director. And so far, uh, things have been falling into place, and I feel pretty good about where I'm at in my career. Uh, I've known DJ since I don't know, is it like early high school? DJ didn't really know me, but uh, he used to play. Uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, 4 with a couple yes, of homeboys of mine. Mm. And yes, uh, so I used to watch them play, you know what I'm saying, online. And, and so I knew DJ of, of through there. And then eventually I would get into the Skype chats with them. And eventually that moved on to WhatsApp and Discord and what have you. And DJ, he actually lived pretty close to uh, where I used to live in Ohio. Cause he was over in Michigan. So mm. we ended up linking up pretty cool. And DJ actually helped me move to Atlanta. That was the first time I actually linked up with him, but he was down. He was cool. He kicked in some gas money. So that was what's up. Oh, damn. Uh, 
yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. so. Ever since then, you know what I mean. Been uh, kicking it with DJ whenever I get back to town. I didn't see him this time because I was just spread thin. I had too many other people to go see. But um, next time, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna definitely go fuck with the kid. I don't know if we allowed to say. I don't know what's allowed on the podcast. Nah, you good? But, um, you good? You good? Okay, bet, bet, bet. But um, definitely go mess with the kid, and um, I'm a uh, I'm gonna definitely say what's up to his sister too. So that's how that's gonna ride. Uh-huh. Um, oh. I like, oh, my bad. I thought, like, that was, I, th- I asked if that was allowed, no? <laughs> I mean, listen, go, go yeah, off, like, go oh. off, Kate. That's the conversation we have to have. Kate, can I talk to you for a second? I'm, I'm listening. That usually sounds oh, like, you know. I just thought, I just thought I'd say hi. Oh, <laughs> right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Jay, ain't, ain't, nothing, ain't nothing with that. No, no, I'll just say hi. Hi. If she's course. watching, I don't think she's watching. Yeah. You know, a seasonal no, greeting. Yeah. 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 Just, what's up? It's just dropping it off. Right. So, next time I'm in the city, you know. That's all. So, uh, Jay, of course. Jay, can I talk to you for a second? What you need, DK? We, we've never had someone I'd call successful on this podcast before. What are you talking how do about? You, how do you handle this? What do you mean? What do I mean? Why are you whispering? I don't understand. What are you trying to get at, Deacon? Somebody with a job? Bro, Is that what you said? No, this, this vaccine got me fucked up. <laughs> Oh yeah, De- oh, Deacon took his oh, took his first vaccine. I get today. it. Somebody with like a career, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, no. I just no. Somebody just talk to a bunch nah. of homeless people with microphones. That's yeah, that's, that's all, it. Yeah, that's usually how how the game goes. So Deacon's a little disoriented today. So I'm a, oh yeah, I'm a little I'm a I, little no, I, I understand. I, I, yeah, he don't know how to act. He don't know how to act. I, so, um, Deacon, but I've been you, knowing I've been knowing like Julio since like 2009, probably. That that would probably that's not accurate. Like 09, probably 10. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If the game came yeah. out in 08, then I've probably been knowing you. Yeah. Damn, that's a cool Yeah, man. yeah. That is a man, yeah. Yeah. Good trip. DJ, DJ oh, one of the homies, you feel me? He one of the homies. We have a, a WhatsApp chat where, you know, the close friends, they talk, they chop it up. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he's been... Uh, been invited to be a part of the family, the, the larger family, you know what I'm saying? He... Mm-hmm. One, one, of the, one of the boys now. He's one of the fellas. So I always right, appreciate... Right. Uh, Chopping it up with DJ when we can and, and seeing him when I can. So hopefully next time I'm in the city, man, we can link up. Or yes, sir. get a ticket, come down to the A, you feel me? And we'll be good. I was supposed to be down there soon. So uh, we gonna link. We gonna link. So oh, sure. I, I always find it I always find it very interesting whenever I, I get introduced to other people's friend groups and stuff like that and like, you know, a tight knit community and stuff, because most of my friends, they're not really they're not really close anymore. Um you know, you'll have like four or five friends that kind of like really know each other really well. And then over, you know, a course of like five, six, seven, eight, almost 10 years, you know, they, everybody start falling off. You know, some people get married, some people start having kids. Um, so do you feel like, you know, as, as time goes on, like, are there certain challenges, uh, as far as like, you know, whether it be distance or even COVID that like, it's kind of hard to like maintain certain friendships and stuff like that at all. Uh, honestly, I think I'm pretty much the complete opposite of somebody who has challenges with friends. Uh, all my friends that I've grown up with, I grew up with them. They from the block. Um, the ones that got married, the ones that have children, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter. We pretty much talk to each other every day. Uh, even when I moved, it doesn't matter. Matter of fact, after I moved, a couple of my closest friends are one of them already moved here. So he's here with me now. Um, it took him about two years, but he finally got here. And the other one, he's moving here too within the next couple of months. So, uh, you know, as far as the challenges with keeping friends, I mean, I ain't really got that challenge. Uh, I make friends pretty easily and I keep them for life. If, if somebody does me good, then, you know what I'm saying, they my homie for life. You know what I'm saying? They one of the fellas. So, uh, however, with that being said, I do understand lots of people do have challenges. And I do have a couple of boys that I might not talk to as much due to, uh, maybe our ideals in life maybe split somewhere you know right, um, right, maybe right. they bring too much drama and uh maybe they're you know they get left in the dust when you start to become more successful and you start to take life a little bit more seriously um those homies i lead them back in the hood you feel me like right, i go right. see them when i can you know i say i say what's up but um you know they can't can't keep everybody in your life so but that's yeah. rare for me yeah gotcha gotcha so what what would you say is like uh like your cutoff point, like when somebody would do something or introduce some new drama, you know, anything like that? Yeah, I got a homie, man. And he be having baby mama drama with two of his baby mamas. And man, one of these moments he had got 
a little too frisky, got locked up for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And you know what I'm saying? And I was just like, you know, that I can't have that type of stuff going on in my life, especially because one of those particular moments, and this is before I moved away, he had uh, hit me up one late night. And I was, you know, I was about to go to sleep and everything. You know, I, I had the shirt off, socks off. Just chilling. And, uh, yeah, he hits me up. He's like, hey, man, um, I need a ride to my baby mama's. Can you come to, you know, grab me and take me? That's the boy. So, of course, I'm like, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? I put my flip-flops on. I ain't even put shoes on. Remember that. Right, I put right. my flip-flops on. And I go get him. He ain't lived too far from me. I grabbed him and his homie. And I was like, yeah, I'll take you to your baby mama's. I was kind of cool with his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? Right, he ain't right, had no right. beef. So, I take him over there. And uh, I get out the car. And we start heading up to the apartment. And there's like two, three guys there, you know what I'm saying, posted on the outside of the door. And so my boy, he's like, hey, hold back. I'm about to go talk to my girl. So oh, okay, sure. wow. Go All talk right. to the girl. Yeah, yeah, he's go talk to the girl. I get to chopping it up with the guys. There. They asking me, like, who am I, where I'm from, and all that jazz. I'm like, you know, I'm whoop de woo We're, You know, who you? And next thing you know, two, you know, my homeboy, he comes back out to talk to his baby mama. He goes talk to one of the guys one-on-one. Wow. Okay, you get to chopping it, and I get to asking questions like, "Wait, what is going on here?" I'm gonna find out. Apparently, man, there had been some big beef. Baby mama done had another guy, you know what I mean? And there's uh... some beef, so I, could, so I was supposed to be pulling up so I could scrap. I'm like, "Look, <laughs> I ain't got a problem with scrapping." But that being said, I had my flip flops on. Right, man. Right. You can't be having you can't have no tracks. Yeah. And I got flip flops on. I ain't got no shoes on. You ain't tell me what was going yeah, on. Right. I ain't prepared. Yeah. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I think I'm just dropping you off. So, you know, heated words start happening, but nothing come of it. And I end up uh, taking them back home. I'm like, all right, you know, this is it. I end mm-hmm. up taking them back home. I'm going to find out the very next week they went back over there without me. I wasn't picking up the phone. Right. Ended up getting jumped. And uh, that was a bad day for them. You know, at that moment, I'm like, Do you feel like? Do you feel like because you pulled up in the slides and they saw you didn't even have the socks on, they knew you was. They were like, you know what? Maybe we gonna wait. <laughs> Maybe we gonna wait. <laughs> oh, yeah. Warning about yeah. this. Yeah, they was really worried. They was worried. We That's might be was. outnumbered here. We yeah. the only pulled they up. They said. In the they slides, said, hold on, man, hold on. Like... You see this nigga confident as hell pulling up with slides and shit. Exactly. <laughs> No, oh, no, he, no, oh, he no. a fighter fighter. Uh-uh. Um, <laughs> I think what really happened was what really got them to be chill is that I, cho- I chopped it up with them. You know what I mean? I right, let them right. know what, what I was about, what I used to do. You know what I'm saying? Whether mm-hmm. it was like making film or doing music or what have you. You know what I'm saying? And they was, for the most part, some chill dudes, at least when it came to me. Right, you know right. what I mean? They don't know me from anything, and I don't know them. So... It, can't, it just got to the point where they probably was just like, oh, okay, this dude, he ain't here on trash, so right. let's just, you know, yeah, relax yeah, on yeah. it. Now, if you would have, if you would have threw them slides off, you know, it's it, made, it, bare feet yeah, and some concrete. Yeah, That's yeah, bare feet my traction. On, all of a sudden, put my forces right. on, you know what I'm saying? It might have been different, but right, right, right. for the most part, you know, I seen what was going on, and I knew better than uh, try to mix myself up in that again, just because why that is my homie. What y'all fighting over is stupid. You fight over something, man. Let me know if it's something you know worth fighting over. Not no young lady who you not really with. You feel me? Right, you right, know? right. So right. Spe- it was okay. just a bad deal. All right, I see. Yeah, it's very interesting, man. I had a I had a conversation with my homie today. Actually, uh, it stemmed from a DJ was streaming the other day, and so we have a, a mutual homie who's you know he hang around some less than desirable people, you know, and um, just to put it bluntly, they racist. They racist uh-huh. as hell. <laughs> so, uh, so our homie, he's he's black and Mexican, right? So he's been hanging around, you know, some people that's not exactly, you know, he's from a small town, and so you know, all his friends are white, and they the type of white people, you know, I just think it's just a word type of motherfuckers, you know. So he kind of has that same energy he carries with him, and when he interacts with other people. So I was trying to talk to my buddy. I was telling him, I was like, hey man, you know, you gotta. You gotta just let some some stuff slide, and so trying to trying to talk to him about you know how how all of that works, and you know it's just it's really weird, and so it kind of got me thinking about like my own homies because I've I've lived in L. A. all my entire life, and so as like people's careers changes and stuff like that, and their ideals change, it's just kind of hard to like still vibe with the same people, I guess. So you know that's probably one of the 
like the biggest challenges. But anyway, so homie is hanging touching, out with all touch. these racists and stuff. Oh no, go ahead, DJ. I was saying touching on that real quick. Remember the guy I told you about in the stream? Mm -hmm. The dude that was like, uh, we had we had a friend that uh used to say words mm -hmm. like big lip beast. And he would like mumble the N word, thinking we don't we ain't hear him, and like a white dude. And he was like, "You remember Matt? You remember Matt Julio?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what? Know, wait, 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 wait. Why Julio smile so much yeah. about that? Because he because yeah, yeah. he know because he know because yeah. Julio yeah. know the nonsense. He was wild. He's that dude wild was wild, dude. bro. Ew, and be, he was what? he was protected by like uh, I think it was Ying and somebody else. Mm -hmm. That would always like protect them. They would always game with them, I mean, no matter what he said. Of, regardless of whether he's protected or not, like I mean, this man lived in Tennessee. You feel me? Like, what, what was we gonna do? Pull up on him? Exactly. It's not like so I, he, I didn't he go knew. out of my way to play the game with him or anything. You know, that was y'all brought him into the to the mix. So, but but nobody liked even gaming with him. But he would like try to distance somebody else from the group and play with like those people. So they wouldn't be able to play with like the other group of people that was like, yo, what is your, what is this man on? That type mm, of thing. Okay. So like he literal like arguments will happen because of like, not just sort of, not much so about like him being racist, but arguments will happen like more so over like the game and not wanting to play with other people. <sighs> you know what I'm saying? So it caused rifts in the chat and then like the whole chat ended up just dispersing. But the point is like, he really, he felt comfortable because he had them people around him. That that didn't care what he said. Ah, they just like okay. oh, they, he he could say whatever. He good. Like, he could say he he just playing. He don't mean he don't mean nothing like that. Nah, bro. Nah, that don't that don't go down like that. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. That's see, that's that's interesting because the amount of times I would say that I've had like some issues with some friends on that on like that type of level. I don't even think I gave him the like a second chance, man. I I'd be quick to just tell people, nah, you can go ahead and just you know not talk to me anymore like don't it's 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 almost like your job telling you you fired and they just tell you don't bother showing up tomorrow here they they already got your last paycheck ready yeah but they want you to work the rest of the day like yeah yeah it's kind of like that so i mean you know that's kind of just some stuff that you have to distance yourself from and you know it's very interesting so julio how did you get into uh what made you start getting into film honestly um so i started off making music you mm -hmm. know we was making songs rapping and whatnot at a whole group you know uh what we didn't have was money you feel me to do music videos we didn't have money to pay other people so we all chipped in and bought a camera and then they gave the camera to me right so i, I bet I'll, I'll figure something out so uh, i would uh pretty much shoot our music videos you know what i'm saying in house mm -hmm. so once I realized, you know, the, I guess the magic of film, I was like, you know what, this is, this is a little bit more of my speed than, you know, rapping and what have you. Now, don't get it twisted. I love rapping. I love making music. It's fun. I do it for fun. I have a bunch of songs that I still listen to just of me. You know what I'm saying? I listen to right, my own right. songs and be like, damn, that boy was snapping. But, <laughs> you know, but at the end of the day, um, Filmmaking was what I really wanted to do, so I pursued it in earnest. You know, I kind of stepped back away from making music, and I, you know, continued through my college education for photography because I had to do the graphic art for our cover arts and stuff like that. So I, you know, took that up, um, and it just one thing led to another. And I remember, like, one particular night, I turned on my uh, computer and I just went to like Put Locker and was watching any movie I could, you know, on, on something like, you know, on Put Locker or on, uh, there was a couple other websites that I, I would uh, go to. And I was just, it doesn't matter what it was. I would just watch it and try to learn from it. And I just start falling in love, you know what I'm saying? And, and it just kind of spiraled into that. And now it's, it's either do or die. If I can't be the type of director I want to be, you know? Right. right. Feel me? And just. Man, that's very interesting that you, Started off in music because I I did almost the exact same thing like all like literally almost beat for beat the exact same thing. So when That's I was wild. in when I was in college, uh, I went to a film school, and they had like three or four different programs that you could go into. They had like uh, film, video games. Um, I think one hey, of them was games. like uh, yeah, Deacon hates video games. Um, what? And, like, I was, do. <laughs> 
and music and uh, something else. So originally when I went into it, I was like, you know, my dad had signed me up. He was like, yeah, you either got to get a job or you got to, you know, go to school or whatever. You know, the typical, you know, parental kind of issue, you know, you're either going to pay some bills or you're going to work on getting the fuck out of my house type shit. So mm. uh, as I was going, I was never good at producing music. I was good at like mastering and I was good at like, you know, telling you like what sounds good. You should add this here. Deacon will know. Deacon's been producing music for our, I don't know how long. He does all of my, pretty nice. much almost all of my soundtracks, all of my intros, all of my background music. And um, every now and then, you know, we'll kind of get together and, you know, sit for what, maybe four or five hours just listening to fucking noises. And it's like, yeah, that's the one. That's the that's, one. That's it. That goes right the <laughs> fuck there. It. And then, then he'll ruin it by trying to put a Nipsey acapella over it. <laughs> I will. I will do that. <laughs> if we don't even be in the right BPM, this man just be like, you know what this needs, Jay? And I swear to God, if you put Nipsey on this, mo- so motherfucking Nipsey. And I'm just, so- I do that. I do that for a reason, okay? I need to like hear the balance between the music and the vocals. Right, yeah. So sure. I just put whatever I can on there. Sure, sure. That's you acted like the Fresh Prince remix wasn't great, okay? It was, yeah, it was. It was. It was. He made a Fresh Prince track the other day to uh, Bobby Caldwell. <laughs> Oh my God! This was just—it it it was, it was just the most ridiculous. Do you still shit. have that? Because I, I want to listen to that. Like, it's on my uh, audio, Mac, bro. Yeah, oh, it's it? uploaded yesterday. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah go ahead, link I that. Gotta, man. Yeah, I gotta pull that up because that shit was hilarious, man. I loved it. So, uh, I noticed I wasn't good at music, like at all. Everybody else was like, you know, getting along with the get along, and just like, you know, I would notice people like leaving class and stuff like that. And I, I was more focused on like trying to get grades and stuff like that because I, I was like never a kid who I just didn't like to show up to class I was one of the kids that would show up and take the test and then not come to class at all like I just ace everything like no problem so when I got to college I was like damn I gotta actually pay for every single class that I go to so you know I would notice some of the some of my boys and stuff they would just be like oh well, yeah we're not going to class or whatever we're going to go you know just go chill and smoke or whatever and instead of taking the opportunity to go and like at that time, I, I mean, I didn't see it as networking. I was like, nah, man, I got to go to class. I got to get an A. You know, I got to make sure I get, you know, a job out of school or whatever. And uh, so all those dudes are successful now, which is like, you know, one of them, he's like, he's, you know, he's he's doing some major shit at Capitol Records. And another guy, he signed with TDE last year. And like, you know, all of these, all these cats are actually doing shit. And I'm just like, what am I doing with my life? So... Um, but I think it was maybe my third or fourth month in there and, uh, I needed some money. So I started making people's album covers and stuff. Cause I had learned to like pirate Photoshop and like, you know, Adobe and all this other stuff. And I was like, you know what, that, that seems more my speed. So then I got into graphics. And then after that, I got into uh, sound design specifically because we were watching, I forget if it, it was like the first Iron Man had just come out and like, I think we were watching like Martin Scorsese movies and shit like that. And like, we had to make a whole trailer just from like noises like that we would find. So my dumbass took the Iron Man trailer and literally just made and recorded an ADR and all the fucking gear noises and servos and all this other shit. And I was like, damn, this is pretty fun. It was the cheesiest fucking thing I've ever made, bro. Like it was, it was honestly like you would have thought somebody's six year old was just trying to make Iron Man noises for two and a half minutes. It was just fucking awful. (laughs) So, Right after that, I was like, you know what? Maybe this film thing is for me. So uh, I started interning at at Sony at the time, and then I went to Fox, and then I ended up getting promoted while I was there, and then uh, I went over to Paramount. And then I got this job that was uh, working for a post house that was owned by Fox. And so the first like major show I worked on was Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And I think I rode that... I got real comfortable at that job. So I think I rode that for like maybe three, four, five years until they were just like, all right... Everybody get the fuck out. Everybody, get out of every, here. Yep, that's it. You don't got to go yeah. home, but you got to get the fuck out of here. Your checks are on the way out. And so ever since then, I just have not been able to like bounce back because I was not doing the necessary networking and stuff like that. So it's very interesting to see it, to see somebody else like have the exact same idea as me. And I'm like, I'm like, yo, I knew it was a good idea. <laughs> like, so yeah, yeah. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. I mean, so. It makes sense. I think uh, music and, and graphics and film, they intersect a lot, you know, and, and mm. people can find out what they like if they try to dabble in all those. I mean, I've got a ton of friends that DJ. I got a ton of friends that do filmmaking. I got a ton of friends that do stuff with sound, graphics. It's it's a constant thing, you know what I'm saying? Um, was, I definitely try to 
network as much as I could in my own city. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's such a, it was, I mean, I don't live out in no Cali or nothing like that. So I had to move somewhere bigger and that's where Atlanta came from. But, um, yeah, dude, uh, it makes sense. I mean, I think it sounds really dope that you worked on something like, you know what I'm saying? Always sunny. Even if, you know, you feel like, oh man, you know, I did that for some years, but I didn't network the proper way. But I mean, shoot, you got to know some people from there still. You yeah, might want to hit their line up. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a few people. There was a, it was funny because when I first got the job, I was interning there and, you know, I was running cables and, you know, setting stuff up and doing stuff on the sound stages. So that was really cool. But the guy who initially kept me there, he was like the VP of like their marketing division or something like that. So basically he cut a bunch of trailers and stuff. So he was like, he was probably one of the first black people I had met in that space. And he was like, yo, we going, we're going to, you know, hook you up with this, that, and the other thing. And, you know, get you started on this whole social media division. And I was like, all right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I could, I could do that. Cause I think at the time, like Facebook was like still the biggest fucking platform out there. And like Instagram hadn't like really like started taking off yet. And, uh, you know, he was trying to help me develop all of this like really cool stuff. And then one day I come into the office and dude is gone. I said, what happened to, what happened to Jonathan? Oh, he moved to Brazil. Brazil? Like he just up and, up and left? Like what the fuck? Didn't tell nobody or nothing. And so I, I, would, I would say maybe like once a year, I'll send this man a random email just thinking he gonna see it. We going on six, seven years now. This man has not God, returned dang. a single email. What? When year eight hits, though, that's when it happens. I think so. I, I think, you. yeah, next year is going to be the year. So, um, and hey. and more so now, like, I mean, I've had, like, four, five, six YouTube channels that I've really tried to sit and develop. And, you know, at one point in time. Talk about yeah, we're not going to talk about those. Those are, those are embarrassing. At one point in time, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do my own, like, production studio thing because I actually had access to, like, certain resources and stuff and i feel like i didn't utilize them properly and there's not there's not a bigger headache than you know realizing something after the fact and you're like yo i could have i could have really made something happen here you know so i don't know it's it's very interesting and so now the the people that i know that used to be in that space are no longer anywhere near it so it's like trying to i guess trying to make like the initial introduction of like you know, trying to reach out to somebody that you haven't talked to in five, six, seven years or something like that. And you're just like, oh, hey, you know, just wanted to say what's up, you know, just trying to remake those connections. is, is just so weird, man. Hey, so yeah, weird. man, how you been? It's been a long time. Uh, you got a job that I can... Uh, yeah, just be yeah, a bro about it. it. That's it. Because yeah, like, I, I also feel fake as hell because, like, I haven't talked to you in six years. You know what I mean? So it's like... What up? I, like coming out the woodworks. Like, hey, you got a job. I guarantee man. you. Nah, you I guarantee you they know. Just hey, man, be up front. Right, they know. You gonna have to, hey man, you gotta pull up from half court. You never know what can happen. That's yeah. all. Man, you ain't gonna you never know say. what somebody gonna say. Exactly. So. Somebody might have secretly admired you. You know what I'm saying? Be like, oh yeah, this cat. I remember he used to work hard pulling them cables. Yeah, let me get him a job. <laughs> oh my god. You ran those man. cables like a pro. Yeah, you didn't see this motherfucker running the forty and three point two like. <laughs> All right, so I have yeah. I have a so switching gears a little bit, right? Oh, uh, really, DJ? Julio? You see, we bonding. Yes, you just, yeah, you just do yeah, yeah. I know, I know. But look, wow. there's something I want to really get to. All right, right that Julio right. wanted to talk about, and that's why that I was like, I'll ask Jay. <laughs> why right? He, why he make this face? No, like, look, huh? listen, listen. No, he know, okay. he know it's okay. coming. He know it's coming. He know it's coming. We was gonna talk about okay the Twitch streamers. And the hot tub thing. Shut up. You guys still right. have the squirt right. case? Yeah, sure. Sure. Hold on. Let me get the music. There was, Let me get I'm the just music. Saying, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There was something that this man wanted to go ahead and speak about in the chat. In the, in the podcast chat. Right? So, he going to say what he want to say about the hot tub. Oh, is this still going? Hold up. Yeah, it is. That My shit. bad. I, right. thought I, I thought I cut it off. Hold on. All right. We good. We good. Now go ahead, Julio. I want to hear your take. Because you sound like you had some heat for us. No. Let me let me preface this by saying, like, I didn't listen to the whole podcast and get everybody nuanced opinions. I seen the clip, 
And I hit DJ up instantly and was like, let me go ahead. I need to investigate. <laughs> let me figure out what's going on. So before I even try to dive into what I think, I think it's important for me to give everybody a chance to really, you know, saying speak their piece. I understand you guys already what's had a whole man? conversation about this. So give me the cliff notes on your thoughts. Fucking with, hell. You know, what y'all like to call titty streamers and the hot tub streamers. I just want the cliff notes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll, 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 I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start. I, I'm gonna start. I have it in two sentences. Because I was caught in 4K watching the clips, apparently. So 8K, motherfucker. Yeah, no. 8K. 10, 10K, 14, if it's such a thing. But what I'm saying is, what I wanted to do in that stream was I was pulling up the 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 different girls, right? It was mm -hmm. two girls. I pulled them up. I went them straight by side. It was, I put them side by side. One here, one there. You know what I'm saying? And I was analyzing the clips side by side like what what is <laughs> the difference this man deacon what it. is the difference i saw the look on his face there, there said, we go there i we said go. i know there exactly what he's doing there we go. what oh. what is the difference of what is going on here they were the same stream the only difference was it was two different girls and they was floating on two different things but they were still floating. They weren't saying nothing. There was a chalkboard in the background, a whiteboard in the background, and it had everybody's name on it. So what I'm saying is, I don't really understand the, where the craze is coming from, or like what the content is. Is what I was saying. I don't. It's not necessarily that I have a problem with what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I just didn't understand so why. Me, what? 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 It was intriguing. Let me six, ask you a six, question. Six, seven thousand. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Have you ever been a a uh, fourteen-year-old white teenager. Just, just Not a, rhetor a white one. just a rhetorical question, right? So, if you had a chance, and you knew several several sites were not allowed in your house, and you a teenage boy, right? Where you think you going? You going straight? You going straight to the internet? You typing in the word boobies? Are you not? I can see that. Yeah. Okay. Right. You know what? So, you know what? So let me break it down a little bit further. Now you're watching. Okay. You're watching Ninja. You're watching. You know whoever else is your favorite Twitch streamer or whatever. Play Fortnite. Okay. You need to switch tabs real quick. What better website than Twitch? There's a whole side panel, one click away. Titties. Boom. Just enough titties to really feel something. You know, I've never been a white teenager before, but I imagine that's what it's like. I particularly don't really, I mean, I don't see anything entertaining about it unless they're playing Apex and hitting headshots. So, um, you know, <laughs> I watch somebody and that in brings me to that brings me to the, the girl that was playing Valorant because mm. that's originally how I found the whole hot tub thing. Some girls playing Valorant and then she moved the Valorant screen to be as small as the camera screen. Uh -huh. And she put her in the bikini in the hot tub as the big screen. Yeah, because that's so not, I, you didn't come here for Val. T majority of the people oh, that of came course. here were not there no, for Val. Right, Valorant. right, right, right. But I'm like DJ was deceived. He was upset. He's bitch. This isn't Valorant. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I can't have this but, shit on my screen. I wanted to see Valorant. <laughs> I was I was looking for Valorant gameplay. I was not looking. To see just the whiteboard, just just move. Right. I was right. not looking to see that. You know what I'm saying? But it's like so. I, I like people think I have a problem with what they doing. It's not that I have a problem. I'm not gonna sit here and say you taking away from my viewers because you doing this. When uh, my viewers ain't watching that. Well, if they are, uh, it's whatever. They know my business. Okay. Right. right. But, but who am I? Well, I mean, you watching it, so they should be watching. Right. That's, that's what my case was. I was like, of course they'd watch it. You watching it? I, you influence no. these things, do you not? No, you were, you were shaping doing, the minds of the youth. Come on, research. man. Because I was not interested in, in this particular subject until you were caught in 4K, sir. <laughs> I was not interested. I was a god what you man. Mean? I used to go on Twitch for nothing but Apex clips, and that's it. That's all <laughs> I was watching. Maybe a little Roblox and some Minecraft. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so My thing is the arguments, Julio. There are arguments that are happening between mm. hot tub streamers saying you my content. What they is saying that? they that others stole their content? They, they there are Amaranth and some other girl, I think Indy Fox or whatever. It was on the streamers reloaded channel uh, like maybe a few weeks ago and they were arguing about who started the hot tub craze. 
and that people are stealing stealing people's ideas for hot tub streams from other from other hot tub streamers and i'm looking i'm i'm just confused what is what what a more of an idea could somebody steal than you sit and float in a hot tub and write somebody's name on a board how many times can that be variated there are no there, there's no what variations are there for that so what's of the water got a point cold water cold water Good makes view. a huge difference huge i have not done the but research. they wasn't talking about they weren't talking about the temperature of the water they was talking that if if she were to get there and float on that floaty you still in my content it's very what, what argument is that it's, uh, it's variations are you not are you not streaming valorant do you not are there not other people who stream valorant Right? But they okay that but okay, you would okay, not but, but you would not argue that you're stealing somebody else's Valorant type content. Right. right. I wouldn't argue that. So I, I wouldn't I don't it doesn't matter if he playing Valorant and I'm playing Valorant. I mean, there's different people that watch he may be good at the game, uh, whereas I'm not. You know what I'm saying? People watch me for reaction, they watch him for gameplay. So who you know what I'm saying? Who, who do we as far as we can tell, do we know who started streaming in that variety? Does it matter? It's a fucking It does. Though. I don't it think does. I don't think we I don't think we know. I, I don't. Okay. I don't think we know who the first so, hot tub streamer was. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was Pokimane, um, just because I she, want to. Just she just I'm had her to. first one. Yeah. I got you. I got uh, you. Yeah, they bottled the hot tub water. Uh, so <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> I got a text message. That's all it was. I got a text message. I just had to. <laughs> I did it. I realized where I am. Um. Okay. Uh, I don't really think. As far as like uh, what Julio was saying with titty streaming and hot tub streaming, nobody was like questioning where titty streaming came from. No one gave a fuck. There was like a, a couple years ago, it was Alyssa Violet. It was, uh, what's her Casey name? Casey Tron. Uh, yeah, her, uh, is it Trisha Hirschberger? And she was like the girl who was like, oh yeah, nudes at a million or whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. It was her oh, and like... Yeah, it was like I four think Zo other Zoe Burger. Zoe did that. Burger. Zoe, I don't know why I said Zoe Trisha Burger. Burger. Zoe Burger. I was freaking Trisha Paytas. Yeah, um, Zoe Burger did that. And so there wasn't really like a, a, a you know a back and forth about stealing content then. So I, I it's a little strange to see it now. Um, what what fucks with me is like back in the day when Twitch was like first coming over from Justin TV, people used to like calculate how many pixels of gameplay there was to like how many pixels of the webcam there was and like. Because, like, Twitch had something like gameplay had to be, like, 60% of your screen or whatever. And people would just see how far they could push oh, it. Oh, I remember now, that. Yeah, and now it's just, like... They don't uh, have that you, anymore? No, no they, they don't have that they anymore. A, they had a diagram of how much clean a woman could have. Yep. They, were like, they were like, oh, yeah, if it's, like, this much titty, it's allowed. But if, it, if it's, like, got a little bit bigger and you knew you had bigger titties, you were getting clapped. Easily. 100%. Oh, yep. Bam. Three to seven days. Easily. But... I don't know. You know, it, I guess... it's getting people are really like they stretching the TOS now because there was a chick that I saw get banned live because me I was showing my friends again like the hot, the whole hot tub craze and I was like, oh no, y'all got to see this. Now look, before I say this, I'm not body shaming, okay? But that the doctor that she usually follow, yeah, usually follow it up. No, 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 That's no, no, like no, saying, no, 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 no the, doctor, people. the <laughs> doctor that she went to was like it, it didn't even look like he even tried. Like it's it's like she really was like, look, okay, I want this done. He was like, all right, bet, lay on the table. And then three hours later, he was done. And so like she she on she on Twitch, she got the bikini on, she turned around, she's shaking cheeks, and it's just everywhere. It's just like I'm getting cross eyed because one cheek going that way and one cheek going the other way. And I can't really pay attention to what's going on on my screen, right? <laughs> and then one of my friends said, "He just admitted to being down bad." Gotcha. Okay. One, no, 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 no. One, one of my one of my friends was like, "Yo, they called her chicken leg because that's literally what the thigh to leg ratio looked like. It was like a chicken leg. You know how the top of a chicken leg is big, uh -huh. and it's, it's it just gradually gets smaller. So that's that's literally what it looked like. So we watching the stream." All of a sudden, the stream get turned off and her profile picture disappeared. And I was like, "Bop, what just happened?" So I tried, I tried to refresh the stream to see what happened, and then it was like, "So she do you was think Twitch is Twitch. Twitch is body shaming at that point too?" 
No, I think she stretched the TOS a little bit further than what she intended. Oh, uh, try to see what you're saying. By, okay. by, by, by as having marks. Cheeks. Wow. Yeah. No, no, I got no. You. Wow. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Look at you. Crucify this man. What? That's not what I'm saying. Uh, there's, there was just cheekies. There was cheekies everywhere. You can't do that on That's Twitch. That's gonna happen when you are a bigger yeah. woman. That happens. Wow. But she there wasn't. Are... Wow. It's gonna be some civilian no, casualty. No, bro. Nah, nah. If you seen it, it was like she knew what she was doing. So, but what... she just stretched it a little bit too far, and that was it. So you've seen Godzilla versus Kong, right? Yes. So <laughs> I just wanna, I just wanna make an analogy. Where is he going with so, this? So what you're saying is, every time Godzilla needs to come up on land, rather it to be, you know, to save people from King Kong or another monster or whatever, there are casualties, right? But you still allow Godzilla to roam around the streets. You see what I mean? You still need right. Godzilla there. You still need To be him. fair, right. who's going to police Godzilla? Who is going to police Godzilla? Okay? So I'm so just who's saying. So the Godzilla I'm twist? I'm just saying they should have allowed it. I think banning that woman is, is unjust. That's really? I think it is very unjust. Really? Because she is a bigger woman. Obviously, there's going to be some spillage. Obviously, there's gonna be you know some things that need to be cradled a little differently. Okay, they should allow her to abide by the same rules that they are not applying to some of these other skinnier women. That's all I'm saying. That's it. That's it. Hot take. Uh, Hot for take. clarification, was it really a skinny versus fat thing? Or no, she was she, she, she got you the surgery. I, I know there is like a a, a quote unquote black thing because there was one there was one girl. Uh, she was she was also doing a hot tub stream and like she was like less revealing than some of these other girls and a lot of people are saying because she's black that's why she got banned she got like a seven day suspension or something like that and uh you know of course people try to make it like oh black girls can't do this and do that but then i also funny enough i don't see any black women in that space I, I don't either. I, I actually tried to look. I actually tried yeah. to look, and I didn't. I didn't see any. It's almost like black women got too much self-respect to do. <laughs> or common sense. <laughs> Jesus. I couldn't. I couldn't get away with that. <laughs> That's where I disagree. Okay. Uh oh. Talk that talk, Julio. Uh, I'm trying to uh -oh. hear. That's where I uh oh. What you think? I. Uh, you know. I think there's a moment in life you got to make a decision of whether you want to get the bag or not. Mm. And a lot of these women chose to get the bag. And if, you know what I'm saying? We all want to work smarter, not harder. And if I was a woman and I had been blessed with a, even just a decent body, just a decent face, I'd be on Twitch too, racking it up. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I agree. I'd be on there quick than nobody's business. Hell, I done told a couple girls I know, like, yo, man, you want to make a couple extra bucks? You look nice. You might want to hit up Twitch. It's a, I mean, shoot. Right, it's right. It's a steal. Right, it's a, it's it a is. Whole, it's a steal. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that is a lick right there. I genuinely so, believe women got it on easy mode, low key. No, really no, 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 no. See, see, that's where I also disagree. I don't believe it's easy. Mm -hmm. I know it's easy to say it's easy because it look easy, but you got to remember, man, they got to do their makeup right. You feel me? They got to make sure their body is together, okay? The ones that ain't got it like that, man, they got to put in the work to keep it. I done worked right, out, you feel right. me? It ain't easy, all right? Now, hold on now. You got to also market yourself in just such a way. You can't reveal too much, but you got to put out just a tad bit so that they salivate. You know, they right, want more. Right, they right, think right. you're going to slip up one day, but you're not. You got to stay smart, diligent, okay? It's not as, you know, you got to get the right equipment. It's not, I mean, I ain't going to say it's as hard as like surgery or something like that, but it's right. definitely, you know what I'm saying? There's some effort into it. And you can tell by the people or the, the women that are more successful than the others. You know, you put in that work, you know what I mean? It's going to, you're going to see something come out of it. So I don't think it's that easy. I don't think that it's about self-respect per se. And that's kind of where I was like, the whole reason why I hit up DJ in the first place. I don't think it's about self-respect because sometimes women do things just for them. And look, we all woke up one day, look in the mirror, and you got a good day, and you go, oh, look nice. 
Mm-hmm. I look nice. And you put on some clothes and you like, oh yeah. And let's say, I know DJ ain't for the streets no more, but one of them days, DJ, you know, you, know, you look at yourself, your hair looking good, you got the clothes going, you got some new shoes, and you might just want to go out to the streets and get some attention, man. You just might want to, because you want validation. He said it's we a city boy summer it. coming up. Right, I'm right. saying, man, so I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it, it comes down to that for a lot of, uh, a lot of women. They do it for them because it makes them look good. It gives them a sense of power that they couldn't get in other spaces because, you know, niggas love judging. You feel me? Niggas right. love judging. And let's keep it a band. When you get out there and you turn your camera on and you looking good and everything popping just how it should be and your eyelashes are all done and your eyebrows are arched and some random nigga toss you 50 bucks and another one toss you 100 and then you get $5 per whatever. And next thing you know, by the end of the week, you got yourself a bag and you say to yourself like, yo, this is a, this is genius. Somebody did that to me on Twitch a couple of times. Somebody really said, yo, $100, you got to take your shirt off. I said, oh. What a, I'm not some whore. I said, I'm not some whore. Yo, I'm not yo. doing that. <laughs> I fumbled a bag that day. That's all I got to say. I fumbled a bag, bro. <laughs> I, I fumbled a bag, man. The shirt, I man. fumbled That's a bag real bad. Real bad. I mean, you know, hey, look, self-respect, I believe in it, right? I, there's a lot of reasons why you should have self-respect, and it can get you far. But also, sometimes, man, a lot of things are a little overrated. You right, feel me? Because right. we, you know, we can sit up here and talk about, you know, we can talk about uh, S S S Sniper Wolf, mm-hmm. and mm. I know that DJ I, used just, to play games with her back in the day. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. We can sit here. Yeah, and talk. I was gonna say she's just corny to me. She seems cool, but I mean, but I used she, to watch her content. I'm just like, all right, well, get your money. I don't I know. I don't know nothing about her except for that DJ used to play with her and that she's like big online right now. Mm-hmm. But she laughing all the way to the bank. Right, right, you know right. Oh, it's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, we can sit there and talk, but not only is she laughing at the bank, and this is very important for a lot of guys, when they talk about, like, self-respect to women and this, mm-hmm. all these nice young women got niggas. All of them. True, true. All true. of them got niggas. And them niggas, not only are they banking too, but they get to get up in there. Mm. You you know what's crazy, Leo? You know what's crazy? Uh, there was there's a girl on Twitch that she was married the whole time, but she she just hid the dude from like everything, bro. Like my man's was like literally like Casper when nobody knew that this man exists, but he was always in the cut. He was always right next to that bag, just like she was. Yes, and they they finally found him and was like, oh, and did did they stop supporting? No, they didn't. But it was too. She already made it, right? She she made so a name for herself. So I, I actually like, have it? a question. So say you're dating a girl, right? Say you know we'll use my favorite Pokemon as an example, because she just I just like her. She's great. She just got a great energy or whatever. You know, I'm it's not like I'm a tier three simp or anything. Tier two, maybe, maybe on a good day. If I just got paid, maybe I'll break <laughs> her off a little. You know, nine ninety nine bread. Gonna take this ten dollars, okay. girl. Now, okay, okay. if that's your girl, right, and you support your girl. Do you have to be in her streams and also like tier three subbing and stuff like that? And she's paying you. She giving you an allowance. Do you give that money back? Essentially. I ain't got. I don't, I don't see the problem. With nah, that's it. um, that's covered in incidentals. That's covered. That's yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't. If my girl is doing that, you know what I'm saying? She getting money. I don't expect nothing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Take me out every now and then if you feel like it, but like, you know what I'm saying? You come on now. Like, what am I, you know, what am I gonna do? You you do you. You you yeah, go ahead do and thing, do you. Man. Yeah. Do your thing, get your money. We gonna go out to eat. We're gonna go to Taco Tuesday. You feel me? We gonna drink. I don't know. Shoot. Ain't nothing like having a girl with her own cash. Then, man, then like, when that shoot, bill come and you just looking like I mean, yeah, but we be splitting that bill though. Cause I know she got it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that'd be tough. That'd be, that'd be tough for me. I'd be like, you think so? you think well, so? I mean, I'm taking. Uh, okay, so the perspective, I guess, that I didn't, I, I should have filled in the rest of the backstory. Hey, you hey. living off of her money. You ain't oh. got no job. Dang, <laughs> you stay at the house. 
Why not? Why ain't I got no that's, job? What I'm say- that's what I'm saying, right? I'm just like Obviously, a house I, I, yeah, you're just a house husband. That's it. She said, Don't worry, baby, I'm gonna take care of you. You don't gotta have a job. Say, you know, you only drive for the first six months or whatever, right? You know, you'll get a job eventually, you know, because you do it. You gotta do something. You can't just sit around you're and cabin fever, yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, shoot, I mean, she taking care of me like that. Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Baby, what you want? What you need? You hungry? We only go on Taco sure Tuesday because that's what's around. I mean, we can go somewhere else. I mean, I'm cooking at that point. All right, 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 right. Yeah. I mean, what you, I mean, she she got bag like that that I'm, I can just sit around like that? Yeah, absolutely. Of course. Be the yeah, first cooking, no, but Sir, you, you, bring, you bring her little place during her hot tub streams, all that. Hey, listen. I mean, not you know only that, I mean? not only that, that hot tub street paid for the house. She got you walking around the house with a with an apron on, you know, nothing else. You walking around in your socks and an apron. You ever did that before? No, never. Not me. <laughs> Yo, look not me. <laughs> not me. <laughs> not me. I'm just saying, uh, man. Oh, he looked. <laughs> oh man. He got the depiction no. and everything. Oh Yo. my god. So, so she got you, you walking wanna, around yeah, in that. You want some easy access. You want to get up in that thing real fast, man. You gonna have, you gonna wear that apron. You walking past the stream, she said, get your ass out of here. Like, you know. Oh, like, <laughs> man, I assume hey, man. I assume these she women paying, have to be tough. She, she paying rent. <laughs> she, she paying rent. She, she paying, paying a mortgage. mortgage. <laughs> she paying mortgage, bro. She, paying mortgage, she, she said, I'm I don't believe in renting rent. nothing. <laughs> If she paying mortgage, man, then I guess I'm about to just walk past the stream and she have just, her tap my ass, man. You know, she, I mean, she playing video games and she just stopped. Look at you, double cheeked up on a Tuesday. On, a Tuesday. <laughs> on, a Tuesday. Yeah. on Taco Tuesday. <laughs> oh no, he didn't. I'm, hey, look, I'm with it, man. I'm with it 100. percent If she bossing up like that. Then I mean, shoot, because you gotta ask yourself one question. I feel you what you're going for. I understand, but you gotta ask yourself one question: Why you ain't got a job? If you ain't got a job, yeah, man, you ain't got no say. You may as well just live. See, I'm gonna lie on my resume. I was just about to say you ain't really got say. I'm about to lie on my resume. I'll be like, no, I'm her social media manager. That's all I do all day. They be like, for how long? The last five years. How long have you been doing it? You gotta look at it this way, man. She chose you. You ain't even got a job. I just read the I just read the chat. <laughs> and Yudi said Yudi said shit. That's not her money. That's our money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the team's gotta, money. Got to play the game. That is win. the team's money, okay? That is part of the budget. That is you gotta funny. Got to play the game to win. You feel me? That I I ain't funny. got any, Hey, look. She chose you. Remember that. Mm. All right, always. Right. All right. them, all them dudes that sending her thousands of dollars, and you the one, you the one up in there for yeah. free. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I don't got, I don't yeah. got to pay nothing to be in here. Yeah. They got. I get, I get to paid to be here. I get paid to be here. Maybe that's why I don't got yeah. no job. She started paying me to be here. I said, oh shit. Ooh. She said you, you don't get do an allowance. She said you don't get an allowance if you leave. I'm like, oh man. <laughs> Maybe I should save this. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to leave? That's the real question. I was, I was about to say question. the same thing. You ain't there. You ain't, you got a situation like that. You ain't going nowhere. I will say there's where you going. There's been a uh, well. I mean, it's a little personal, but whatever. Um, yeah. Hey, but, don't get in trouble. Yeah, you know, I'm not gonna get in trouble. She left. Um, so. Oh, you're right. You know, yeah. <laughs> back when OG used to take so. You know, this girl, what the fuck? Come on now. <laughs> y'all can't do the same motion at the same time. Both of y'all niggas just, come on, man. Like, yeah. Come on. It's a conspiracy. Anyway, so uh, this girl I was seeing, I think we were maybe five years in, and I had... Uh, Definitely getting in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I had lost my job, and she was like, she was making enough money to where she was like, you know, don't worry about it. You can take a year off or whatever. Do whatever you want. And she was just giving me money, Right. And so at the time, I'm thinking, oh, okay, you know, this this cool. But there's some I, I will say, there's something consistently different about a woman that is able to just give up her money to just some nigga, essentially. You know what I mean? Like, she just, she just operate differently. So I think coming across a woman like that, they're so busy, you know, just maintaining the shit that they already have. They just don't have time for you anyway. You know what I mean? And for me, I'm going to tell you my mistake. I got comfortable. I got real comfortable. I said, I'm going to take your money, and I'm going to go take this other bitch out. <laughs> and not only, did, not only did I do it, and you knew where my money was going, I lied about it. I lied and got caught multiple times. 
I wish I could zoom in more than that. Yo, yo, I was doing some dirt. Okay, I was doing some real dirt. And uh, the real question is uh, how you get caught. That's what I'm really. Hey, to listen, bro. I remember one time I came home and she was like, "What did you do today?" Oh, you know, I just hung out with the boys. You know, we went to downtown or whatever. You know, we did this, that, and the other thing. She said, oh, okay, that's that's very interesting. Uh, a friend of mine sent me this photo. Uh, this you? And who is this? And it's, it's literally me standing on a street corner with this girl, and, and she's holding my hand. And I said, I didn't get that angle. <laughs> I was just... <laughs> I was doing construction behind was, me. God no, damn it! It was, it was, uh, it was, yo. I was literally caught in 4K, and I was just like, I don't even remember doing this. And then when I think back, I was like, that was actually the time when I was just hanging out with somebody. You know, that wasn't even like somebody I was trying to make a move on or anything. You know, we was just kicking it. And you know, some girls they like to be touchy feely or whatever. Some girls, you know, they'll hold on to your shoulder or whatever. She was a hold, a hand holder. And so, you know, when you try to explain that, um, it don't really, it didn't really go very well. <laughs> the point I was trying to make is Ooh, she, she was real tough. Okay. She had a mean left hook and, um, oh you, my know, God. you know, it was just, you know, I put, listen, she did some dirt too. Okay. When I was making really good money and she was living off of me. All right. See, this is why when I tried to explain this context to you the other day, G DJ, you were like, you're like, oh, no, she's not coming back. You know, this, that, and the other thing. I was like, uh, okay, give it a month. Give it a month. We going on 12 years now. So, you know, it is what it oh, is. Oh, you had another breakup? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. You know, you know it's, yeah, just, you yeah. heard that right, Julio. It's something. been like Man, this. Y'all sound, sound real toxic. I keep, I keep telling him it's toxic, but he don't want to listen. <laughs> Listen, bro, it's all good. You know, anyway, you just keep, keep... They got bills, bro. He needs to pay them somehow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This this itty bad itty bitty ass closet of an apartment don't pay for itself. What money you think this is? Mine? <laughs> hey, man, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if, it ain't tricking if you got it. Mm. Thank you. Amen. Yes, sir. But anyway, to go back to the original conversation. Uh, Julio, how do you feel about OnlyFans women? I assume you cheat, treat them with res res respect, obviously. You know, what's your overall opinion? Uh, and would you let man. how how would you feel about your girl having having an OnlyFans? Cause some some dudes they just be a little too fragile. Uh well, so in general with OnlyFans is I'm definitely a believer of get it how you live. Mm -hmm. So if you got it like that and you can get it like that, then I say go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Be mm -hmm. my be my guest. Right. Um I ain't got no problem. I mean, shoot, there's pornography and sex workers and all that jazz they've been here for millennia they not ever right. going away right and there's always going to be a new way to do it whether it's cam girls whether it's you know brothel houses whether it's only fans there's going to be new ways to do it and after only fans there will be another way to do it right mm. Hot tubs. so instead of ever feeling some type of way about Hot it tubs. i'm just like well shoot i mean you know what i'm saying let them do their thing man we can't i mean guys can do it but, you know, it's not as easy. It's not the me? same. It's, it's not the it's same. It's not the same. Right. But, like, girls, man, they have that advantage. They have that privilege, you feel me? And, and not all girls, because some girls, you know what I'm saying, they were born unfortunate to not be as beautiful as their counterparts. And that is sad. That was a I, very I respectful way to put it. That was the nicest exactly. way of I'm calling like, somebody okay, ugly. Right. He said they cosmetically challenged. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. I, I, seen, I was online one day, and I seen this young lady. She had... She was it was uh it was on Reddit mm -hmm. about OnlyFans and she was asking uh about help and saying like how come her OnlyFans wasn't, you know, popping. Right. She was like, Maybe it's cause I'm ugly, you know what I'm saying? That's what she was saying. Right. And I was like, Well, let me go look at her. <laughs> so let me let me let me go check her out just to make sure. You know, not like her OnlyFans, but just her photos in general. And right, like I, right. I went to go check it out. And I mean, yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Wait a minute! Wait. Oh Ooh. my God! Yo, yo, yo! It was, yo. it was, it was the saddest song ever wrote because I, <laughs> I dang near shed a tear. Like I shed a tear. Like I was like sad because this woman was very, you know, what I'm saying, not good looking, and it's nothing she could do about that. She was just not good looking, and her OF was never gonna blow. You feel me? Right. And right. I, I, I had to like, I, there was no words of encouragement you can give her. You couldn't even and tell her hot dead. tub streaming was an option. Couldn't tell her nothing, man. She just didn't Damn. have it together. You feel me? And so at the end of the day, it's like, okay, you know what? Baby, baby, this ain't for you. You feel me? So right. 
the women that can do it though. Right. Shout outs to them. I hope they, you know what I'm saying, continue to make a bag. Because everybody's winning. They win because they get money. Niggas win because they get to see this woman that they really want to see naked or have suggested photos or what have you. Right, for five ninety. So it was cool. Yeah, on the cheap cheap. So as far yeah, as as far right. as my girl, she wanted to do OnlyFans. The, the the honest truth is is like for a couple of reasons. Number one, I probably wouldn't be super on top of it. Like I don't mind if my girl's a titty streamer. I actually push for that. I'm like, yo, right, right, you got right. some nice titties. That's the, yo, Go ahead. that's a bag. But that's a guaranteed yeah. bag almost. But as far as OnlyFans is, it's like, you know, I do like to have that that barrier, you know what I'm saying? That level of secret, you know, there's some mystery to it. So she was just letting it all out there, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm probably not going to feel super comfortable. It's not that I would tell her not to. I mean, do what you want to do, you feel me? But I'm going to feel uncomfortable, so we're going to deal with that in our own private way. Right, whether right. we, you know what I'm saying, maybe the relationship just, our mindsets, our ideals ain't the same. Mm -hmm. But... If she was like, no, I just want to do like suggestive stuff on on like o O F and make some money. I mean, I might be like, and I'm first. I'm a, I'm gonna be like, yo, give it about a month. If it's popping, and co go ahead, do your you know do your thing. Right. But right. if you're struggling, take that off, man. We don't need you know what I'm saying. I don't need all that out there because that's for me. You feel me? That's right, mine. Right, right. I, so you just you just good with it if uh she don't she don't just go full blown she can't go full blown with the OF but if yeah, it's like no, it, lingerie it, stuff or whatever it's like is is that is that it, in yeah, within laundry, boundary not, or not lingerie is cool but like you also got to remember the whole reason why OF is so popular is because dudes that and even girls dudes and girls and whoever that's that's like subscribing is because they feel closer to right. this woman. Cause they're Instead normal. Just going to, yeah, right. They're normal. They're not. Right. We want to see enough, normal you know. naked. It's not Brazzers. Right. You know what I'm saying? This is right. at a crib, so you feel a, a closer intimacy, right? The problem I'm gonna have with my girl is like, bro, like that's my close intimacy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Not to be shared with others. That's why you know what I'm saying. I would have like a slight issue with it, is because it's like, yo. I'm not out here on OnlyFans paying because I want to be intimate with these random women. I'm intimate with you, so I only really want to see you in that kind of way, and you should only want to see, like, only want to show me. It's I'm trying to be special. I'm a little selfish. Who ain't? We right. all a little selfish. Right. Um, but at the yeah, exactly. We all a little selfish. But at the same <laughs> time, she was adamant and was telling me like, no, I really want to do these boudoir shoots or these what have yous, right? And I really want to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I want to feel sexy, blah 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 blah. I'm gonna be like, all right, bet. Let me see what the bag looking like. Because right. if the bag looking right, I'm gonna be the one taking the pictures. You feel me? Right, right, right. But if 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 it ain't really popping, it's just kind of whatever. I'm gonna be like, dude, this ain't worth it. Please, you know, what I'm saying take it down. And if you don't want to take it down, I understand, but maybe this ain't for you know us. So that's how I look at it. Man, that's a very, see. There was a story a like a long to, time ago. I, I, yo, that's a very mature way. Cause I would have told that bitch to go. <laughs> yo, <laughs> I'm saying, listen, I'm, Jay, you remember the story like a long time ago? Uh, uh, uh Point Dexter, the Point Dexter OnlyFans oh, girl. Yeah, it was a, it was yeah. a, it was a girl on OnlyFans. We covered that on, we covered that on a, the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was a mom. That had OnlyFans. Her husband would take the pictures, and the school found about it that her kids mm -hmm. go to. Specifically, the principal, the principal of the school found, found out, out about it. But the only way the principal found out was because the other moms at the school, like in the, the neighborhood, kids, in they the found neighborhood, out, and they found out from the husbands that were subscribing to her OnlyFans. They was snitching. That was juice. They was I'm snitching. With <laughs> they I mean, was snitching. Stick, man. Let him, let, hey, man, let them hate. What 50 say? You feel me? What he say? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you know, what, you know what's hate. crazy? You know what's crazy? I seen another article that apparently other moms in the neighborhood is wanting to be on her OnlyFans. So, like, she's collabing. Yeah, exactly. They want a piece of the bag, so they collabing with the with the mama on her OnlyFans. And I assume she giving them a bag. I don't know. I don't know. King. Oh, he just he just raided the stream, and I forgot to turn off the I forgot to turn off the alerts. Thank you, my man, Mighty Raid. Thank you, sir. Hey, man, if you got it like that, shoot, man, I ain't mad at nobody. So they trying to join the OnlyFans. They trying to jump on the bandwagon now that. Her, they made sure her kids got kicked out of the school 
and now, and now they like, want to. Yep. I will. I will say this though. I will say this. That's some. When it comes to when it comes to kids, if you have kids and you decide to do the OnlyFans, I think you should. There's. Sh- I think that takes a little bit more nuance because. Mm you're not just affecting your life anymore you are now affecting their life whether positively or negatively they're gonna have to deal with that in some way and that's not fair to them because they didn't ask for that you know what i'm saying right, kids right, can right. be ruthless you feel me man yeah. yo could you imagine be out on the, out on the playground little billy comes i know your mom's only fans like exactly you know that's that, that that's that's <laughs> dangerous so i will say if you are doing only fans and you have children or a child or what have you Maybe try to have a conversation with them the best way you can, or I don't know. I ain't in that. I position. don't even know how you present that. I don't yeah, know. I'm not I'm, sure. I wouldn't know. Your mama shaking that titty on the internet, bro. Man, hey, this your mom's throwing it back. <laughs> you just, that's, I couldn't that's imagine, dangerous. bro, because I used to get in fights in school about people saying my mom was fat, my mom was this, my mom was that. I said, okay, all right, for sure, for sure. You got to throw hands real quick, but. To have like photographic evidence and your mom throwing it back on the timeline. Yeah, nah. You gotta shoot up to school. You have to. I get it now. (laughs) I get it. Yeah, I get it. I I just I'm just saying, listen, before that was a white kid sport, okay? It was a white kid exclusive sport to shoot up a school. But you start telling, you know, Tyrone's mama busting it on the timeline. See if he got something for you at three o'clock. See if he got something for you. Jay, in this hypothetical situation where this kid pulls up to the playground saying, uh-huh. I got your mom's only fan. Uh-huh. Hey, how let's assume that this kid got the money through allowance. Nope. Google images. Okay. Baby. Google Go- images. Okay. All right, Google never mind. Images will reveal stuff to you that you had no idea was on there. Okay? My thought process went somewhere else. Yeah, no, definitely not. You was looking too deep. Your story was too deep. That's all. Oh, boy, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, OnlyFans is a is an interesting concept in general. He said um, y'all are going to hell. <laughs> I, I, oh, my I, God. But, hey, yeah, man. You I'm going to take the other kids with me. Yeah, honestly. Get it, get it how you live. Uh, get it got to. Because they going to figure out a way no matter what. No matter what, people will figure out a way to get it. So instead right. of... I ain't gonna shame nobody, man. I'd rather encourage them than that than do something a little bit more dangerous, like, you know. I don't know. I ain't gonna say like selling drugs, but like, you know what I mean? Something. Yeah. Some little yeah. bit just, more just dangerous. Just be out on the street. Just, do, uh, just, do, just be out on the, the street. streets, man. So, yeah. Let's go, Let's go steal some phones. Let's go steal. Nobody steals. Do people still steal phones? Yep. Is that, a, is that yeah. still the market? I would I, yep. I, I, I would believe so. I had a friend yeah. got her, uh, her phone stolen not too long ago. It is super easy to factory reset a phone and sell it as brand new. Hey, man, listen, that's $10 insurance a month. You can go ahead and take that motherfucker. Exactly. <laughs> we both we it. both getting it. Yeah, you getting a new phone. I'm getting some money out of it. If anything, she, maybe maybe some people are volunteering that shit because I'd just be like, yo, that's... My phone's gone. They'll mail you another one. So, they're you, not no, hold on. So, you know, but it this is might what be it expensive. is. Hold up. What? What? <laughs> anyway, I... so... All right, I guess with that being said, um, we pretty much just reached. I didn't think we was going to reach this point so soon. We're already an hour in. So uh, let me see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to the chat. Uh, anybody in the chat got some questions for my man? Oh, this Leo. is my favorite section. This is this is DJ's this favorite This is my section. favorite he section. Loves, he absolutely loves the, the Q&A, Q&A bro. The, the there's been some people. questions. Like the dude that was trying to get with, got his, with his homie with girl, him, huh? we ain't never got an update no, for that, never, man. We haven't I'm gotten mad. an update yet. It so. was a dude on here that was trying to like, oh, yo, yeah, we can ask Julio about that. Girl, yeah, the homie girl. You so, know what I'm saying? She looking good. So we the had, homie girl we had somebody, somebody write in that he was crushing on his homeboy's girl. And mm-hmm. she was kind of giving him hints and stuff. And mm-hmm. so he was conflicted at first. Does he chase after the girl or does he tell his homie first and so it's kind of been developing where she was like sending him pictures and all this other stuff talking about oh i'm gonna send this to my boyfriend what do you think (laughs) and like the story just kept getting yeah the story kept getting more and more elaborate and then i think what was the last update we got the last update was um i guess she had invited him over or something where she was like she was calling him at like 10 o'clock at night and trying to say like um, uh, that she wanted to come over and hang out or something. She wanted to smoke while her boyfriend wasn't home or some shit like that. 
and we just never heard back. I assume he he's died. dead. He dead. Yeah, he's dead. I assume. I, <laughs> I assume he went over there to smoke, and he got smoked. That was a <laughs> setup. That's what I think that was. We told this man to stop. We told him to stop. I didn't tell him to stop. I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, go for it. If that man girl want to cheat, she going to cheat. Okay. And now, look, now, now if he laying up somewhere with, with punches on his face and bruises all over him, it's just your fault. That is, you put him in there indirectly. Oh my God. No, I didn't. I don't influence people that much. Um, so yeah. So Julio, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, man? Well, my first question is. You know what I'm saying? I know he said that's his boy, but like how much of his boy is that his boy? You know what I mean? Right, right. Like because I have yeah, a friend I that at first too. I got so. a I got a friend who he his roommate, you know what I'm saying? He had room with his this dude for like two years or whatever. And they was cool, man. They hung out, you know what I'm saying, everything. He was like, Oh yeah, that's my boy, that's my boy. And um however, you know, the boy he had a girlfriend or whatever, and she was a little flirty every now and then and eventually it got to the point where now, this is a little bit different, but it did get to the point where the homeboy and his girl, like, they split, right? So my boy was like, yo, she been like, you know what I'm saying? She been, she been talking about pulling up and, like, just, like, seeing me. What should I do? And I said, same thing I'm asking now. Like, how, how much is that boy your boy? Because if it ain't your boy, right. do it. If it ain't your boy, do it. But if it is your boy, if that's your homie, if you look at him with respect, like how I look at DJ, you know what I mean? Right. If you doing that, then, you know what I'm saying, you tell your boy, like, yo, she on trash, trying to double up. That's what you do. That's how you do that, man. That's <laughs> that was the only way to do a Because there ain't nothing else to it, you know what I'm saying? You, you tell your boy what's popping, you let him know that she for the streets, and then after that, you let him know, like, listen, man, if you want to go double up on this shit, man, we can double up on this, all right. all right? That's what you say, and hopefully your boy, hopefully... He really is your boy. Yeah, hopefully he's your he boy. with the shit. Your boy. Hopefully he with the shit, because I got a homeboy. I got a homeboy that... uh. He definitely was asking me about like doubling up on some shit. And I was like, "Yeah, let's do it." All right. Well, uh, yeah. I, I'm going. gonna assume that that was his homie for a cool minute. You know, I'm gonna assume. I'm, a, I'm <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play white devil's advocate and say both. Okay. So <laughs> we'll say we'll say this was a long term homie, and this was also you long know, term. For the, yeah, and for the sake of you know conversation, maybe it was just also a short term homie. So I think if it was a long term homie. I know for me, I'd probably have to say something. I'd probably be like, yo, your girl, your girl throwing signals, you know. I, I probably wouldn't want to show him some evidence or nothing like that. I'd just be like, yo, what's your girl? Gotta show him the evidence, man. You got to. I, 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 I think I would, too. Evidence got to be the awesome. Nah. Yeah. I mean, all right, all right, all right. You say I no, will. but how many dudes do you know will hear some shit and then be like, bro, you capping? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would, yeah. I would let him know evidence can be requested, but I wouldn't bring it on me at the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm bringing exactly. I'm bringing that. Bring you guys to see this, like, bro. You, we'd be sitting there chilling. I see some you know wild shit. You come look at this. Like, Yo, man, take take a look. Isn't at this, this your guy? Look, look what I found on Google Images. <laughs> yeah, it's suddenly it's in my DMs. Right this is weird. <laughs> nah, that's your boy. You let him know, and you let him know all the way. That way. He ain't thinking you hating on him. You right, feel me? Right. That way, you know, you, know, you get between us. Ain't no you yeah. did. He right, say, right, she right. say, nah, bro. She said this. Yeah, she said she was. Phone. And and I quote, "I'ma throw it back on you." Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta let him know, and, man. If that's your boy. Yeah, and for the for you know further context, he was saying he was trying to pursue. He he low key was trying to pursue it. You know, he was he was because interested. he right and. He was not the boy. That's the difference. Ah, that's what that was. He wasn't ah, the boy. Okay. Right? He, he don't care about his friend. That's why he ain't on here asking about. He asking y'all. That's interesting. You feel me? He don't really care about his friend for real, man. We're she must out. got it like that or something, or he just down bad. But like, that's man. That's a dangerous game he playing. That's interesting. That's interesting. Hell, I actually. This is how much respect I try to go for. I literally asked a guy about his brother because his brother dated a girl you feel me right and that this was a dude from the block and i was asking like i, was, I hit the dude up and was like yo i know your brother dated this girl 
But like, I just wanted to let you know, you know what I'm saying? We've been kicking it and all this jazz and whoop-de-woo, da 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 And like, he's like, you know what I'm saying? He was like, all right, cool. But he was like way mad on the low because that's his brother, you feel me? Right. But he, you know, nothing came of, of him being upset. He still, you know, I see him nowadays. He's still like, what's up? Like, I show respect. You got to let these dudes know, man, because they, if they get blindsided, you know how niggas be, man. They be ready to kill somebody over right, something like right. that. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Cool. Okay. Damn, D with see? the loud sound effects. My God. All right. Uh, so we're going to turn it over, some of the questions into the chat. Uh, let's yeah. see. Anime Dunn says, uh, does he also make grilled cheese in the oven? Shut some, the fuck some of y'all up! Just be asking the most suspicious questions. Uh, Julio, how do you make grilled cheese, bro? Uh, I don't like grilled cheese. That's Good like acceptable an accept- answer. That's an acceptable answer. I'll take that over making that bitch in the oven. But if it say you know you seeing a young lady and she asks for a grilled cheese, how you making it? I'll just make it right on the stove like my cousin used to do when we was younger. So on a frying pan. Right. The correct yeah, way. Yeah. The correct I might say. Way. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I thought so. There you go. Anime done. You got your. You got your question. You got something to say, Oh my god. Nah. Man. I'm. I'm, just... I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna touch. It. What you mean? You I'm not gonna touch. It. I'm not gonna touch it. You I'm can't touch it. Touch you need oven mitts. Yeah. It's just. It's. Uh, bro. You are. It's not that hard cheese. to make a grilled cheese in the oven. Mm-hmm. She said king shit. All right. Cool. That's it. Yeah. Appreciate that. So. Um, let me see. <laughs> he said, y'all, Shut go- up, Malone. y'all going to hell. <laughs> he said, you got to be crazy letting me ask questions. All right, ask away then. Ask away while we have Julio here. Because, we, you know, usually when we get to, towards the end of the podcast, it just kind of winds down. So, brown sugar lemonade or nah? God damn it. No. Brown sugar lemonade? These mo- no. First of all, let me let me hit the pause for a second. You motherfuckers in the chat are talking about we going to hell. Arrow's going to hell for creating that monstrosity. Just before that, you're referencing thing. This man has no idea what it is. Okay. These are inside a, jokes that so, need explanations. Julio, let me oh, they are inside jokes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Julio, let me give you context. So we got we got a homie who ran out of sugar one day, and he wanted wow. to. Make, he had some lemon and some water. You know, some some sink water. So he was just like, "Well, I can't make lemonade the right way. Let me try and do brown sugar instead of regular sugar." So he he created this concoction called brown sugar lemonade. I truly believe this man is the devil. Yeah. I, I don't think I could ever put brown sugar with lemonade. Lemons not, at all. I, I think he going there's a very special place in hell for that man. Not only is he going to hell because he used brown sugar, he made a singular cup of lemonade. Just one. Not for like a pitcher. Not a pitcher. A one a cup. A single cup and just made it for himself. I don't know if I'm going to disappoint y'all, but I would try that, though. <laughs> Brown sugar? Oh, I need to hear some context, brother. I need Why? Why? Would you, why? Uh, why? Variety is the spice of life, and I ain't afraid to try new things. You know what I'm saying? It could be terrible, but it also could be not half bad. I really wish Sugary. you would have told me that explanation oh, off the sure. podcast. I wish we would have never uh, saw I mean, this. You know, and then I'd be like, oh, okay, I respect that answer. But now you're validating my homie's nasty ass life choices. Okay? Because now he's going to think, things you get, now he gonna things think you it's a good done. idea to, to grill some shit on the roof of his house. I'm pretty okay. sure. You know, okay, you know what, though? Hear me out. I'm he pretty sure those the people. first man. That took peanut butter and chocolate and mixed it together, got the same reaction. That's no, what I'm saying. The 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 flavor consistency works. It works. Now, one thing what I is, don't think works is and I may be a little crazy for this, is chocolate and strawberries. I've never Yeah. It's gross to me. It's gross. I, I know some I don't people eat really chocolate, like that shit. So I don't I don't really know. You don't eat yeah, chocolate I don't, either. I don't either. Mm, no, I, I don't, don't either. I don't yeah. eat peanut butter either. So me, I What the fuck was that food. comparison then? <laughs> I know a lot of people like Snickers, but two, thing, never, two I, I, things I've never eaten together. I don't know. No, I haven't either. Though. I haven't either. I do agree with you though. Like, like that's why I've been trying to like really dabble into new things here and there because it's like you never know if you like something until you actually try it. So I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, man. It, it makes I sense. ate uh, bone oh, that, marrow. You know, that, like heated bone marrow before. You feel me? What? Uh, yeah. That's like, that's like, that's like that, sound like that sound like a southern thing. Is that a southern thing? No, no, no. I was in uh, Sweden. I was in Stockholm. Oh, at the time. yeah. That sounds like something they might do over there too. Mm-hmm. So yeah. that explains why the second podcast on here, we had DJ on, and he was trying to give his top five list of women he would let hit him from the back. Um, that explains a little bit, DJ. We going, we going back? No, we're not going back that far. 
We going back to that? Jesus. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> that was, that was, that was saying we're very thing. consistent. That was the one. I'm saying you're consistent. That was, That's what I I'm saying. don't need. I, I could have went no, my whole life without hearing that DJ. <laughs> no, listen. He it was a, a joke. He got the list. list. He, he got, got the list. list. He got a list. Not only that, he was asking repeated times, Jay, when we going to come back? When we going to get to that list? No, 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 Bro, right you, you know you don't. Yes, Ain't no I way. Do. Ain't DJ, no way. Uh, Ain't no way. Baby. He said, Jay, what is no the way. next pod? I'm trying to reveal you, this uh, list. Right here. Right here. He was asking me. He said, Jay, when is the next pod? I'm trying to reveal <laughs> this list. Right Yo, here, there's bro. no way, bro. That's he, crazy. He ready for that the is list. crazy, bro. I said, that is crazy. He said, I'm working nah. on my top five right now. And bro, I said, okay, look. No, You going to give context or no? You can give context. That is the context. No, it's <laughs> not the context. Is, so you don't have a list? Nope. I sure don't. This man's lying. I sure don't. This man's lying, bro. This man literally <laughs> he made he made a list. I've the reason why we're all in it. He made a list, Julio. He made a list, oh, and I made a joke that. list. I made a joke list because oh, it was it's a fun. joke list now. It's a joke. Okay, it's a joke, that, guys. I'm gonna tell joke. you right now. Since okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, since you want to air it out. Okay. If you think I'm not letting Zendaya Marie Coleman hit it from the back, okay, you are wild. You are absolutely wild if you think I'm not Did allowing her to Leo. do that. If she asks me, sir. Sir. That's his list. Sir. That that's his list. She at the top of the list. That, now now he dead yes, serious. He dead, dead serious dead about the list. Fucking serious. I'm not serious about the list. I'm more surprised that she got a last name. Than what you talking about, man? That's what I'm really. Talking. I ain't even know all that. Yes, sir. I looked her up. Yes, I looked sir. her up on Wikipedia and yes, it didn't sir. say her last name. Yes, I was sir. Like, oh. Yes, sir. You got to be invited to know that uh -huh. last name. Yeah, you got to be invited. That's, that's all I'm saying. Damn. Listen. All right, bet. Listen. Man, he got, got, when they, when they got said when they when they had the audition for for Spider Man, your boy was on that list. That's all I'm saying. I was on the list, and they said, "Well, I think we're gonna go with the with the British white kid." You know, and that was it. I, that was it. I really thought we was gonna do Miles Morales. I said, "Oh man, and we got a we got a black MJ." Okay, <laughs> all right. And so you know, it just wasn't meant. Yeah, this is just to get that last name. I, I did honestly. I thought I was gonna be Mr. Coleman. I really was. I was prepared. <laughs> okay. I was really. <laughs> this is uh, definitely not a subject I can relate to. Hey man, you know listen. When it's your time it. to get called up, it's your time to get called up. That's all I'm saying. Hey, I, res I respect the honesty. Yeah, DJ, you, know. you got to be more honest. <laughs> he out here, <laughs> he out here running, telling people two different stories, man. So, I got no but uh, DJ, who's on your list since you've been holding it for so long? Ain't no list. Oh, nah, it's my time Don't has come. Ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Ain't no list. You sure? The, the audience, there, the audience no have list. waited for this moment no, for, okay, for months. They're going to wait forever because I ain't got no list. Man, I'm not doing that it. That is crazy. No, hey, Hold on. somebody. got the list in the podcast. In someone, the podcast. someone go to the DJ's uh, Twitch channel. He talked about it on stream once. Oh, He's yeah, he sure stuff. did. Yeah, you did. I remember. Because it, it was after the third podcast we did with you. You you even said, you said, man, I prepared this list and everything. I remember. I, rem I should have clipped that shit. Hold on. Let me check our DMs. I know I got... You started listing people off, too. You said, are you sure, man? Because I got this list I've been trying to get to. Hold on. This is right before all the I metal swear games. Are you dumb? This is not... This is not... This is not, this is not we definitely going to have a discussion, DJ. Uh-huh. <laughs> You don't oh, need that. Back, now that I'm looking in our DMs, I'm seeing some more suspect shit. Now that I looked, because Man, there's, me, there's this one bro. picture. Oh, nah, DJ, bro. I'm gonna oh, give you some no. context. Scroll up in our DMs right now and look where it says one sub equals three squads. Look at that picture. Look at that picture. Go ahead. Scroll up to the top. You are gonna see all so, of them, all of them ladies' links. That's the first thing you are gonna see, and then you are gonna see that screenshot that you posted. You posted that. So, <laughs> waiting for him tell, to see it. Yeah, you keeping, you keeping, <laughs> you keeping secrets, brother. You keeping secrets. All right, you ain't slick. Caught in 4K. <laughs> I'm looking at the chat. Caught in 4K. Ah, uh -huh. what do you know? What do you know? All right. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. He said, Let me know when the seminar is. <laughs> hey, bro. 
I don't right. got nothing to say, bro. Hey, listen. All right. It is I don't even have nothing to say, bro. It is what it is. But, hey, Julio, thank I mean, you so I'm much. Just, I'll thank literally you be in podcast, all. Man. You made course, this great. Yeah, no. You made oh, this definitely. great. Definitely. You definitely revealed some stuff about DJ that uh, we had no business knowing. We definitely. And then he backed himself into a corner and confirmed it. So. Yeah, man. He he definitely got to do some explaining, but, you know. Yeah, you know. What do you I, expect, man? I just assume he's exploring himself, you know, and he's really, you know, as he's growing in to be the streamer that he is, he's trying to, you know, reveal a little bit more, get a cl- little closer to his audience, you know. Trying to tap into his core self, if you will. It's, it's wild because he, you know, saying this whole time he kept telling me, you know, I ain't with, I ain't for the streets no more. But mm-hmm. you got a list, right? Right. You know, list. right. Exactly. She know about that list, DJ. Do she know? <laughs> no. That list. There, there's another list she know about that I went through, but I, there is no list. This first list is not. That's that's a joke. That is a joke. All right, y'all trying to get me into some. I'm just that's a, that's I'm a just joke. repeating the words that you have said that on this very podcast. Joke. That's all I'm saying. That is a joke. On this very podcast. I just have a list, another uh-huh. list. Uh-huh. So, if you say so. But with that being said, uh, I want to thank our special guest, Julio, my man. Uh, let, let the people on the internet know where they can find you, man. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Jody Oakwood. That would be J-O-D-Y-O-A-K-W-O-O-D. Um, that's where I like to send people. They get to see my photos and, uh, you know, I post links about, you know, whatever film work that I've got going on and future stuff like that. If you in Atlanta, uh, and you happen to want to be an acting or want to get into film or anything like that, hit me up. Uh, I love helping out people, man, because uh, I wouldn't be here if people didn't help me out. So that's how I'm doing it. All right. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you so much for being on today's podcast. DJ, you got a closing statement today? It was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story he gonna stick to all right what about you brother deacon you got some words uh, for the people i'd like to uh nominate julio as an honorary member of the uh council i like them okay okay it's an honor. yeah i feel right. honored deacon don't do that to nobody <laughs> okay right. made right. me laugh that's all it takes yeah 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 all right we'll take that I into appreciate consideration it. we gonna see how the chat feel feel um, the love yeah, man, it was. It's very refreshing to have a, a professional uh, individual on the podcast. That doesn't really happen because you sh- also somebody who partakes a, just as much, if not more, than me hijacking conversations and stuff. Because I'll talk for hours, so I sit here and start telling all sorts of stuff I'm not supposed to. So you know, but no, nah, yeah, I mean, it hey, if it if it means all the same, man, I appreciate that you had me on. Appreciate, you know what I'm of saying, course, that you can uh, direct the podcast the way you do and keep things interesting. Um, and I'd like to be a part of, you know, just, just joining in and having conversations with people. That's just the type of person I am. So shout out to you, DJ, for uh, actually bringing me on because I was just fucking around when I first said what I said. I was, uh-huh. I was planning on coming on here and, and causing chaos. You feel me? <laughs> But uh, we do. No, y'all, y'all, y'all solid. That's, so. that's, yeah, that's always acceptable, too. I mean, the amount of... Yeah. We had Rencho on, what, two, three episodes oh, ago? And this gosh. man was talking about fucking his wall. And, you know, it was just all... Brother, it was just all kind of madness. It was yeah. it was so strange. <laughs> it really is. And I've known... He's one of my best friends, man. I've known him for almost eight years Too long. Now. Yeah, too long. And this man does not... At this point, nothing he says surprises me anymore. Nothing. And I even asked him, I said, did you at least spit on the wall first? He said, no, I wouldn't disrespect my wall like that. <laughs> I, was like, it, I was just like, what? Would you go fuck the drywall? <laughs> well, yeah, it's yeah. drywall. Oh, my God. That's what was yeah, so concerning. Different. Yeah, that's what yeah, was so yeah, concerning. Boy, different, man. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was, that that was, was, that was, was funny, bro. Whatever makes him happy, you feel me? <laughs> I guess. Oh man! But with that being said, thank you, Julio, for being on today's podcast. You guys know what it is. Uh, if you guys listen on Apple Podcasts, make sure to rate it five stars. That greatly helps us bump up in the algorithm uh, and get above our two hundred listener mark. By the way, guys, we did reach uh, on on Apple alone. We reached in between. Last week did two hundred two. The week before that, we did two fifty, and then the week before that, we did one eighty nine. So it's going up. So you know, round of applause to you guys. Um, hopefully, that number keeps going up. On Spotify, though, we had over 600 plays for the last podcast. Ooh. So, very, very significant numbers. Um, and then on YouTube, obviously, you know, the count is the count. Nobody, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't, don't nobody care. Because um, YouTube don't bring 
Yeah, I mean, it's whatever. It's YouTube. YouTube is racist at this YouTube point. YouTube is YouTube. Yeah, it's racism at this point. So, uh, But thank you guys for listening. <laughs> Make sure to rate it five stars on Apple and then subscribe on on Spotify. And then, uh, of course, everybody's links will be down in the description. You guys can go and check everybody out. I want to, once again, thank my man Julio for coming on today. Thank you, King. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Make sure to keep it canning.